Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another grocery haul and meal plan video. So today is Sunday. It is two o'clock in the afternoon and I'm getting ready to head into Walmart and get my groceries and stuff for the week. Uh, I was going to go to Aldi today, but I just, there. sometimes I just feel like I can't go more than two places. Like that's my limit. Like I want to go to Hy-Vee because they have chicken breast on sale right now for like a dollar 48 a pound, which is super cheap. And since I want to go there and there's like a bunch of things that I need from Walmart as well. Like I need to get a new shower curtain for Connor and different stuff like that. Uh, I just decided I'm going to get most of my groceries and stuff from Walmart today. And then I'll head over to Hy-Vee and just get a few of the things that they have on sale that I want to get. Um, so when I get home, I will show you everything I got plus my meal plan for this week. All right. So I'm back from the store. I spent about $200 at Walmart and about $100 at Hy-Vee, so a little bit north, more than I normally spend. But um, I needed to stock up the fridge because it was pretty bare. So I actually had to get my lettuce from Hy-Vee. They had no good lettuce at Walmart, so I just got one bunch of green leaf lettuce. And then also at Hy-Vee, they had mandarin oranges on sale for $1.99 for this three pound bag. So I got some of those. They also had pineapples on sale, uh, $2.50 I think per pineapple. So I'll cut that up and keep it in the fridge for this week. I got some flat leaf parsley for a couple different recipes, some bananas. I got some of these mini cucumbers um, from Walmart. These are like the mini seedless cucumbers. And then Heidi had cauliflower on sale for, um, I think it was actually 99 cents per head, which is really, really cheap. So I got ahead of that for a recipe this week. I got some grapes from Walmart and then some um, green onions for a recipe. I got some asparagus for dinner tonight and then a bag of uh, baby carrots both for snacks and salads and another recipe. I got one red pepper, um, a bag of limes because I was running low on those. I wanted to get a bag of lemons but Walmart did not have any besides the Meyer lemons and those are kind of pricey. So I just ended up getting two uh, regular lemons. I got a bag of Gala apples. We were totally um, out of apples. And then Hy-Vee had these new Chobani gimmies. These are like the kids version of the Chobani flips. And I had not seen these before. They don't have them at my Walmart yet. So I got four different kinds of these. I got one um, chocolate chunk cookie one it looks like this one is like a birthday cake flavor a rainbow sprinkle cone and then a cotton candy so the kids normally like their regular Chobani flips and so I thought these would be um, a nice change for them to try Ivy also had shredded cheese and block cheese on sale for two dollars each so I got one shredded mozzarella a shredded cheddar and then a block of mozzarella that I will shred up for a recipe. I got a pound of sharp cheddar cheese from Walmart and then I also got some butter because I was running low on that. Um, normally I buy these from Aldi but since I didn't go there this week I just ended up getting them from Walmart. These are the turkey sausage snack sticks that we like to keep in the fridge for snacks and lunches. And then this is the first time I've seen this at my Walmart also. This is the Panino pepperoni with mozzarella cheese. They have like the individual packages of these that are a little bit pricey, but this is a tray of, it looks like six. So I will keep that in the fridge for snacks. And then Heidi also had these little Chobani um, yogurt tubes. These are kind of like yogurt, or I'm sorry, go -Gurts, but they're Chobani instead. So this one is the creamy orange flavor. Connor already ate one of these and said it was good. So um, I, they had a couple other flavors of these. I think they had like cherry and vanilla maybe. I can't remember. So um, the kids do like Gogurt and I think these are probably a little less, um, these have a little less sugar in them so they're probably better. Uh, I did get some mini pepperoni for a stuffed shells recipe that I'm going to make this week. I got 18 eggs. I just got these from Walmart. These are just the um, cheap ones. I picked up some more sour cream because we were running low on that. And then the kids have really been liking this Fairlife 
chocolate milk. They actually like this better than the chocolate almond milk. And this is actually low in sugar. It only has um, 13 carbs per cup and they like to have chocolate milk for breakfast. So I've been getting that for them. I got one container of half and half for some recipes and for coffee, some milk. Um, I've been liking to have grapefruit juice in the morning, so I got one more of those. This is just the Ocean Spray brand. Um, Adam's been taking soup for lunch to work with salad, and Hy-Vee had the Progresso soups for, for $5, so $1.25 each. So I got one of the chicken pot pie, two of the chicken cheese enchilada flavor, and then one of this tomato Florentine with Italian sausage. Um, we were running low on flour and sugar, so I just got one bag of all-purpose flour and one bag of white sugar. Um, I'm going to make Made Rights this week. You guys comment down below if you know what Made Rights are. It actually originated here in Iowa. It's like a loose meat sandwich. And if you go to Made Right, you can actually get cheese rights. And so I got some cheddar cheese sauce to put on those. Um, I will be filming what's for dinner videos this week, so um, you'll see that video soon if you want to know how to make those. We we're also running low on jelly, and Connor will not accept anything other than grape jelly, so I just got some of the great value um, plain grape jelly. And then from Walmart, they had these little containers of Nusa. They haven't always had these before. So I actually got one lemon and then two of the blueberry, which Kira likes the blueberry kind, so she'll eat those for breakfast. Hy-Vee had a sale or a coupon where you could get Lunchables, 10 for $10, and that's like pretty much half the price that you can get normal Lunchables for. And this isn't something I buy every week, but when they go on sale, I do buy them because the kids eat them for snacks and for lunches. So I got two of these snack packs. These are just the mini crackers with ham and cheese. So I got two of those. I got, um, let's see, three of the pepperoni and mozzarella. I got one pepperoni pizza. Connor likes to eat these. I got three of the turkey and cheddar. And then one um, nachos one. Sometimes I buy these and no one eats them, so I just ended up getting one because I don't want it to go to waste. Um, I got some turkey lunch meat from Walmart just for sandwiches and then I have a recipe this week that calls for tomato paste and this isn't something I buy all the time but when I do need it for recipes I prefer to buy it in the tube like this because um, you can just squeeze out what you need and then you can keep the tube in the fridge that way it doesn't go bad and you're not opening a whole can. Um, these are new at Walmart, or at least they're new at my Walmart. These are the Gogurt Dunkers. So it comes with, I believe, four in there, and it's like a little tray with some graham crackers and yogurt to dip them in, so probably the kids will think that is fun. And then I also did get at Walmart, before I went to Hy-Vee and saw that they had these new ones, I actually got four of the Chobani Flips. This is Connor's favorite flavor. It's the s'more s'mores, so that's fine. We'll, we'll definitely eat them all before they go bad. Um, for dinner tonight, we're gonna have steak, and I was gonna make homemade macaroni and cheese, but I'm probably gonna run out of time. So I just decided to get some of this Cracker Barrel mac and cheese, this is a sharp white cheddar. I got the kids some Go-Go Squeeze. This is the appleberry applesauce. Uh, they'll eat these for breakfast or take them in their lunches. Um, we were running low on peanut butter, so I got just a big container of the regular Skippy. And then for the Made Right recipe, I need minced onions, and this isn't something that I normally keep on hand, but um, I decided to grab a jar of these. They're only like 99 cents at Walmart. Um, for the stuffed shells recipe, I got some jumbo pasta shells from Walmart, and then I also grabbed some garlic breadsticks to go with that meal. I always like to keep spaghetti sauce in the pantry for like quick meals and we're running low so I just got one jar of the traditional prego. I got Adam some Bang Energy drinks. They're carrying these now at Walmart. I haven't seen them before. They're $1.98 so probably the cheapest you can get them anywhere. They're actually $2 a can at Hy-Vee. So I got one Power Punch, one Citrus, and one Lemon Drop. Um, I got two cans of SpaghettiOs with meatballs just to keep in the pantry for the kids. 
and then we had um, ran out of the Olive Garden Italian dressing which is usually my favorite Italian dressing to keep on hand for either chicken marinade or um, garden salad so I got a replacement of that I got two of the Walmart brand uh, great value this is the it's comparable to the Gatorade Mio which is just water flavoring so I got one strawberry watermelon and one pineapple mango um, I got a loaf of bread at Walmart. This is my favorite kind of bread to keep on hand to make sandwiches and toasts with. It's the Sara Lee Honey Wheat, and usually Walmart has the best price on that. It's kind of pricey at Hy-Vee. I got a package of buns for the Maid Rights, and then Hy-Vee had oyster crackers on sale for 99 cents a bag, so I ended up getting two of those. I just like to keep these on hand for crackers for soup. One of the recipes I'm going to make this week is a um, beef stroganoff noodle soup and it called for egg noodles so I got a bag of those. Um, I don't normally buy a lot of ice cream especially for myself but I saw this at Walmart and it is the caramel chocolate cheesecake truffles Ben and Jerry's. It says it's caramel cheesecake ice cream with graham cracker covered cheesecake truffles and chocolate cookie swirls so that sounds good. Um, I got some of these Jolly Rancher jelly hearts. It says they're cherry, strawberry, and watermelon. Um, so yeah, junk food. I'll go in the pantry. And then I got a bag of croutons just for salads. Um, one of the reasons I went to Hy-Vee is because they had chicken breasts on sale for $1.98 a pound. And so when they have it on sale like this, I like to stock up and then I just portion it out into freezer bags and put it in the freezer. So I ended up getting three um, packages of chicken breasts. I actually only have one meal this week planned to use chicken breasts, but like I said, the rest will go in the freezer. I got a package of English muffins. These are the Thomas brand. Um, these are the best kind to um, get. I've bought generic ones before, but we prefer these to use for breakfast sandwiches. Um, at Walmart, I got a package of chips. These are the, is that the air compressor? Oh my god. Okay, so at Walmart, I got a package of the, like, individual size chips. These are the Originals mix. So in there is just Classic Lay's, Cool Ranch Doritos, uh, Wavy Lay's, pretzels, and white cheddar popcorn. Um, I never bought these before, but I just wanted to keep um, just a package of cookies on hand just in case the kids need a quick dessert or to throw in lunches or something. So these are just the Walmart brand of like the Chewy Chips Ahoy. I got a bag of seasoned fries for um, dinner this week. If you guys haven't tried the Great Value brand fries, they're really good. And they're like half the price of the Orida brand, so I would definitely recommend those. I think these are only like $1.68 a bag. Um, Hy-Vee had 50% off all of their Keebler crackers and sometimes when they do that I like to stock up on things that I would normally buy full price. So I got some of these club cheese bites. These are kind of like the cheese Ritz bits um, so they're comparable to that. And then these are really good too if you haven't tried these I would recommend them. They're the townhouse flip sides. It's like a pretzel on one side and cracker on the other. They're really good. Um, Hy-Vee had Lean Cuisine dinners on sale for $1.77, plus I had a dollar off coupon if I bought seven, plus if I bought seven, I got seven dollars off on Ibotta. So that actually makes these less than 60 cents a piece, which is like a huge discount and a really good deal. So I like to keep these on hand for like quick lunches. I can throw these in my bag um, to take to work for lunch if I didn't do much meal prep that week. So the kinds I got are the tortilla crusted fish, which I've bought this before. This one's good. The Philly style steak and cheese panini, just a plain cheese ravioli, and then the chicken enchilada suiza, which I've had that one before and it's good. And then I also got a thin crust barbecue chicken pizza, just the regular roasted turkey breast with dressing and then the ricotta cheese and spinach ravioli. So those will just go in the freezer and we can use them as we need them. Um, I did get a package of these Viva pop-ups napkins from um, Walmart. These are just nice to keep on hand so that we're not using paper towels all the time for napkins. And then I need to replace some of my hot pads here in the kitchen. So 
I ended up getting these from Walmart. This is the Pioneer Woman brand, and it just comes with two um, mittens or you know oven mitts, and these were around five dollars. I got a package of strawberry cough drops because we were running low on those with everyone being sick. Um, I bought this a couple times before. I get these at Walmart. They're just like an envelope of this intense protein treatment conditioner, and I really like them. This one is the Extremely Damaged Hair Repair. So actually this has a lot in it. I can get two uses out of it um, for hair treatment. Um, I got a shower curtain for Connor's um, bathroom. And then this is the kind of notebook that I like to use at work for my to-do list. I had run out of my last one, so I went and got this one. This is just a five-star, like a college rule notebook, but it's smaller than a regular notebook. So that's just the size I like to use at work. I got some paper plates. Um, I also needed some more shampoo and conditioner, and I decided to go back to the OG Herbal Essences. I just, this reminds me of being a kid. I remember using this in the shower when I was a kid. So it was actually cheaper to buy this in the box set with the shampoo and conditioner than buy them separately. I got some Snuggle Plus um, laundry crystals, and then I had ran out of Swiffer wet jet pads, so I decided to try the Walmart brand. They were about $2 cheaper, so hopefully those will work well. And then I also got a refill of the wet jet wood, which is the kind I like to use for my kitchen floor. Um, I got some of the Walmart brand Ultra Strong toilet paper, so this is supposed to be comparable to Charmin, so we'll see how that works. And then for drinks, I just got one package of the Capri Sun Roaring Waters for the kids. I got a 24 pack of Diet Pepsi. Um, at Hy-Vee, I did grab some beer. They had this Wilson's Orchard. This is the Rosy, it's a rose hard cider. Um, Wilson's Orchard is uh, semi local to us and they make really good hard cider. So I grabbed some of that. And then I did the build your own six pack. So I got two, which I've already drank one of the back pocket grown up juice. This is a cherry limeade beer. I got one of the Goose Farms SPF, which is a passion fruit ale. I got one of the Iowa Brewing Company Everlasting Summer. This was pricey one. This is a Founders um, Blushing Monk. It's a Belgian white ale with raspberries. If you can't tell, I like beer much more than I like wine. <laughs> And then I also got for Adam a Lagunitas Super Cluster Ale. Um, I also got some of the Clear American. This is the Sweetened Sparkling Water in the Peach. This is really good to keep on hand. Um, the kids can drink this and it's just a nice substitute for soda because it doesn't have caffeine or sugar in it. Even though we don't really drink sugared soda anyway, we always buy diet. And then I got myself a package of the Bubbly um, Sparkling Water in the Grapefruit. So that is what I got today for groceries. Let me show you the meal plan. Oh, and one more thing. I got dog food. So that's it. So tonight for dinner, Adam is making some steaks in the sous vide. We actually just got our half of a beef this week. And so we had T-bone steaks um, that we wanted to cook up, obviously. Uh, if you guys are interested in how to sous vide a steak, I do have a separate video on this and I can link it down below. I probably need to make a better one because we've done it a lot more now, so we probably have better tips. But um, that's what we're going to have for dinner tonight. The kids won't eat that, but I'll make them something else. Um, and then I'm going to make mac and cheese. And I do have Brussels sprouts written down, but I end up getting asparagus instead. Um, tomorrow... Monday I have to, down to make pizza stuffed shells, which is a recipe that I haven't made in quite a while. I'll link it down below and actually I think have a video on this um, for freezer meal prep. I'll try to find that too. But this recipe, I can't remember where it's from. Oh, spendwithpennies.com. I actually got this recipe from Shelly at Shelly's Home Life and um, she does keto now and so she doesn't make this anymore, but this is one of the recipes that um, I got from her and so we're going to have that. Tomorrow with salad and garlic bread. Tuesday we're going to have made rights. I was telling you guys about that. I'll link the recipe that I'm going to use down below. And then I got some fries and we'll have fruit with that. On Wednesday I'm going to make beef stroganoff noodle soup with rolls. And this is from the um, Skinny Taste 
one and done cookbook this is a new cookbook that I got for Christmas and I'll link it down below if you're interested it's a really great cookbook but um, this recipe is on page 151 and you make it in the instant pot so that will be a good recipe to make after work this week um, Thursday I'm gonna do barbecue chicken breasts and then um, corn and cheesy cauliflower and then Friday we are going to either have pizza or go out and then Saturday I usually don't plan that far ahead since I'm not sure what we're going to be doing so that is it for this week's video thanks so much for watching and I will see you in my next one bye hey where have you been I've been looking for you now and then someone just like you Who can make me feel